If you're not up to date with the recent drama, not too long ago, someone named B-Frioni shared about the death of his girlfriend on the official Minecraft Reddit, and not long after, his post got removed by one of the moderators, and when he tried to appeal the removal, he was basically told that he was milking his girlfriend's death for karma, which is obviously disgusting. If you want to know the full details, check out my previous video on the subject, but I bring this up because we recently got an update on the situation, which is what we'll be discussing today. Not too long ago, a post was shared on r slash minecraft titled, Moderation, The Way Forward, and I'll read aloud what the post says. Moderation in r slash minecraft needs to change. While we have had plans for a while, things sadly move slow. Recent events gave us another push to keep working on this, and what we hope will also help in this regard is introducing our plans to the community so there's even more pressure to keep working on them. Let me give a quick recap over what needs attention. Rules are not as clear as they should be. We don't have consistent internal moderation guidelines. Communication is lacking, mob mails go unanswered, disrespectful mob mails are sent, and ban and removal messages are not clear. So here's our plans for the immediate future of r slash minecraft moderation. The mod who sent that milking car and mob mail response is suspended eternally for 4 weeks. We have chosen to not reveal their identity publicly to avoid drawing the attention of the angry mob to them, but we are monitoring the moderation log to ensure they really do not take any moderation actions. New rules. We've recently gathered a lot of feedback on a draft of new rules from the community. We are in the process of shaping everything into a new set of rules which will hopefully be more clear. The moderators of r slash minecraft memes and r slash minecraft suggestions are helping in this process. New moderation guidelines. These should ensure that removal comments are clear and to the point, and that removals align with the rules. New moderators. Once we've updated moderation guidelines and rules, we will recruit a new wave of moderators. We hope that with more people putting more time into moderation, we will have more capacity for mob mail interaction, can react to rule breaking content faster, and hopefully we won't have overworked mods send frustrated mob mail responses without thinking. Unrelated to current events, we've recently brought in slash u slash greenmagic27, who you may know from the Minecraft bug tracker or Minecraft community support to help with content moderation. Hi. Ban messages will include an explanation of our appeals process. To help ensure that these changes are implemented quickly, we've promoted slash u slash real salus to full moderator and equipped him with a whip to force us to keep working on these things. What? You may know him from the Minecraft bug tracker, Minecraft community support, as a Minecraft translation proofreader, or more recently from posts related to the rules rework. We're happy to hear feedback on our plans. And that's everything the post says. To summarize it all up, the mods are admiring their mistakes, and they're listing ways that they're going to try to improve the Minecraft Reddit experience, which definitely sounds great. The only thing there is to hope for now is that they actually keep their word and do what they promise in the post. That being said, there is one issue I have with this post, and that is in regards to the punishment towards the moderator in question. Not only do I think 4 weeks is too short of a suspension, but I don't think he deserves to be temporarily suspended. He deserves to be banned entirely. Hiriel Salas, the mod who was recently promoted, actually responded to his arguments, and here's what he had to say. The mod that made the mistake has shown already to be extremely sorry, and we sent an apology to the original user via mod mail. Apart from removal and suspension, there aren't many actions you can take against unpaid volunteers, and the positive actions of the mod involved far outweigh the single mistake. These are mistakes you are bound to never repeat, not that mod, not anyone in the team. The four weeks in punishment itself was decided in collaboration with other subs to try to make it fair, and it's a minimum until we are sure that, again, this will never be repeated in the future. If I had to be honest, it feels like this moderator is grasping at straws. Like first off, what does being an unpaid volunteer have to do with anything? Are you trying to argue that the mod isn't expendable? Because the original post literally says that new mods will be recruited, so that makes zero sense. Second off, if you're going to argue that the mod has done more good than bad, at least show some proof of the good he's done, and since he mentioned as being one single mistake, it really seems like this moderator has been causing problems in the Minecraft Reddit for years, so you should probably check your facts. Third off, you can't just avoid consequences by saying sorry. It is a good thing to apologize, but if you just let anyone get away with anything for simply apologizing, then nobody would ever learn from their mistakes. And in this case, it's possible they only said sorry because of the backlash that was received. Again, it's good to apologize, but you still need to learn that your actions have consequences. And in this case, it's not like the moderator accidentally told Brendan Frioni that he was milking his girlfriend's death. He purposefully and willingly said that. I do support the idea of second chances, but again, this guy clearly has a history of doing shitty things and abusing his power, so I think we're well beyond second chances. 
Overall, this response feels very biased, and the fact that they're refusing to permanently ban the moderator in question raises some red flags. In fact, it feels like they're just giving him a month-long vacation, which isn't even a punishment. I'm glad they're at least admiring their mistakes and trying to improve, but then again, this isn't the first time they've talked about this, so I'm not even sure if they'll keep their word. All we can really do is hope for the best, hopefully they actually do the things they're promising, and if the moderator in question screws up again, then they'll have to ban him permanently. Because if they don't, then there's really no hope for r slash Minecraft. Before we end this video, I do ask any of you watching not to directly attack the moderators. Even if they're all just as terrible as the mod who wrote that message, you won't make yourself look any better. It's fine to share criticism, of course, but you can do that without directly attacking anyone. Anyways, that's about it for this video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more stuff from me, like and subscribe, and turn on the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. I would very much appreciate it. I'm banning you for sticking around this long.